Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, we are gonna play with making some sprays. Now, you know, there's so many wonderful sprays out there. There's dilutions. Um, you can get, um, what else do I have? Uh, Heidi Swap has them. Um, let's see what else you can make a do. I mean, you can get them glitter. What are they called? Glitter? Perfect Pearls Mist, Glitter Mist, so many out there. But they have a tendency to be expensive. So I'm going to show you a few things that you can do to make your own at home and to save you money, especially for those of you, because I know a lot of you are just starting out. And who wants to start something and have to go out and spend $200 on supplies to get home and to use them if you don't have $200 to spend. Would I like to go out and spend $200 on supplies? Yes, I would. But can I? No, I can't. So I have several videos on doing so many different techniques of making uh, your own art products and that kind of thing. And uh, when people would write me and I would write back and say, oh, I have a video. I've, I've made three videos on that. And they would respond, which is understandable, um, saying, well, you know, you have 500 videos. How am I to, you know, to go through and look for, you know, the video you did on that. So I have a list that people, the people who message me, I would write their names down and write what they wanted. And I would let them know that, yes, I will, you know, they want me to remake videos. And I understand, um, over, I'm like 6,500 people, I think, um, which is major, uh, I'm growing leaps and bounds. I'm thrilled to death. I feel blessed. Um, and a lot of people want to see this kind of stuff. So I'm done explaining. Let me just go on. Okay. Let me give you some really cheap. I'm cheap and easy. This is, that's what I call myself because this is what you do. I know a lot of us, and this is a, I got this at Michael's. It's Stampend. This is the water bottle. It's empty. It was probably three, $4. I don't know. I must've bought it on sale. Now I use these. You can use these, or you could use, let me see if I can get it without spilling. Or you can use Rangers Mini Misters. I got something in there. I don't know what the hell I got in there, but it's uh, called Ranger Mini Misters, they're called. You can use these wonderful, if you have the money and, and you know you can buy them, I think it's fantastic. Here's what I'm gonna tell you if you don't have the money. <laughs> Either, um, you might have body sprays, you might have, you know, spray, uh, spray bottles that, uh, you can use and, and replace of. If you go to the dollar store, let's say you go to the dollar store, you have five bucks, buy five of the body sprays that are around this size, take them home, either use the stuff inside or empty it out, rinse it out real good, spray your nozzle out real good and use them for your art. Um, you're only getting the bottle for a dollar. I know people are probably cringing saying, oh, I can't, I, I wouldn't want to waste it. But when you don't have money and, oh, big truck. Um, when you don't have money and you want to make some, you know, spray inks um, and you don't want to spend $3 on empty bottles, you know, look around your house. Like I said, go to the dollar store. The dollar store might even have these empties. Some of mine do, some of mine don't, but some of them have spray bottles. Um, or look in your craft store, you know. But yeah, you can just go and pick up body spray and definitely just empty it out and then put clean water in it and squirt your nozzle and uh, then start making what inks you want to make. Now, there's so many different ways to make ink. While you're at the dollar store, pick up food coloring. And these are, you know, what we use at, at Easter for uh, food coloring to color our eggs. Um, I was lucky enough that the thrift store that I go to after Easter had all the, what is it called, paws, uh, ink, like the little tablets that you put in. And um, so I have a lot of those uh, that I've made. Um, but those are hard to come by now at this point in, uh, that we're heading into the holidays. So go to the dollar store or look into your kitchen cabinet. You might have them sitting there that you've bought them and used two drops and didn't use them again. So what colors come in mind, which probably are all the colors. And if you look on the back, like for instance, this one, it tells you, like, let's say we're making a cake and 
you want to make a pretty purple color. And we have our main colors here. We have blue, red, green, and yellow, right? And it says to make purple, use 24 do uh, drops of red and 16... Uh, Oh no, you can make it small. Oh, okay. Oh, it gives you like for th if you want to make a cake or icing or dye your eggs. So if you want to make pretty purple, you can put five drops of red and 15 drops of blue and that'll make your purple. Obviously those are colors that when you mix together, you get purple. You would do a yellow and red for orange. You would do uh, blue and green for teal. For mint green, you would use green and yellow, more green than yellow. And for dusty rose you would use red and blue and it's pro it's probably about double the red to the blue Do you, you know what i'm saying two to one so if you would put two drops of red in you'd put one drop of blue that kind of thing so there's all kinds of different you know colors that you can do but let's just say we're going to take we're not going to worry about mixing right now i just i'm going to take my red i'm going to open my bottle i got a little bit of water in there you can use water, as, as much water as you want. I'm just using, just to show you guys, you also can use alcohol um, and make alcohol uh, sprays or inks. That's another video. So I'm gonna put three drops in there just to see. I'm gonna give it a, so that's three. And you see I have that much water in there. It's not too, too much. I'm gonna put it in. Put the sprayer on, give it a good shake, and I'm going to spray. It's going to come out watery first because I didn't, I should have sprayed out my nozzle. All right, I'm just going to wipe that off. So that, you get that color, but I want it darker. So I'm going to go with three more. One, two, three, four. Four more. And let's see the difference in that. That's all good. Now you can see it's getting a little bit darker. My camera's going in and out. <coughs> Let's see. <coughs> Stay focused. All right. So say we want some purple. So let's put some blue in here. <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me. And you can. All right. I'm going to put five drops of blue. That's my blue. Um, and you can uh, make these in a bunch of different ones in a bunch of different colors. Look how that changed that color. It's dark now. I'm going to give it a good shake. It's going to come out red at first. And then you're going to see, look how it comes out purple. Now, if you want it more, you know, add more red to make it more. Add more blue if you want it deeper. It doesn't matter. And there you have some very easy colors made with all of your food coloring and you just mix like the color of um, like you would mix colors for anything, whether you wanted your frosting to be a different color or, you know, you're mixing uh, your watercolor paints, whatever, and you can have any colors that you want and you have a very easy spray. Now I'm going to just dampen this off. Now understand, is this, I get this question all the time. This is for your art journal. This isn't if you're going to make art and sell it in a sense of, uh, what was the question I got the other day? The question I got the other day, because I use a lot of white. Now look how pretty that looks. If it would just stay in focus, it might actually look good. Oh, geez. Oh, Pete's. Would you just stay in focus? Um, but look how pretty that background is. And just think if you have all the different colors, you know, so I'm just going to kind of add some there and just dab it up now. Okay. If things that I've done, like I said, now understand Elmer's glue, Elmer's white school glue. I don't believe any of them are, what are they called? Archival. They're not archival, whatever the hell that means. I have journals that I did 10 years ago that I've used white school glue on and they've not changed or yellowed or done anything, ate the paper away or any of the stuff. I get asked this question all the time that, um, now their glue sticks are archival. So if you buy, you know, I use the glue sticks all the time. I love the extreme, um, love them, love them, love them. And, uh, 
These are archival the glue sticks, but the school glue is not. Does it matter? Not really. Um, even if you're doing something for sale and that kind of thing, you know, I mean, if you're if you're selling your stuff for sixty, seventy dollars a pick a painting or whatever, you want to use, you know, something that is used for, you know, archival. I don't even know if Mod Podge is. Well, let's say, let's see. It doesn't say. I guess you'd have to look it up. But they sell it for that. I mean, you know, so you can use your Mod Podge, and there's so many, the gel medium, you know, all kinds of stuff out there. You can use matte medium. So just keep that in mind. For your art journal, like I said, if you want it to be archival as far as glue goes, use a glue stick. Otherwise, I use white school glue for everything, and I have tons of stuff that I've had for years and years that I used it on, and it's not bothered it at all. I use that a lot. I water it down. I use it for uh, collaging. I use it for uh, gluing things down. Um, I use it for all kinds of stuff. Now, what you can do is add a couple drops of your white school glue, or it can be Mod Podge, whatever liquid glue that you have, uh, Aileen's Tacky Glue, whatever. Um, put a drop or two, a couple drops in your water, and make sure you shake it real good before you use it. Um, that would give you a little bit more staying powder, uh, pow powder, staying power, um, you know, with this, but it's, like I said, nothing's really permanent. Um, if you go in and rewet this, it'll move around a little bit. You know, the paper has soaked in a lot of it. I did not gesso it. If you gesso this paper, then, uh, you're, you'll definitely, you know, the, whatever you spray or paint will sit on top. So that's, you know, it's good if you want to gesso. If you don't have gesso, throw a coat of white, or cream or something that you have down on top of your paper and then um, let that dry and that'll act like a gesso. Because I know uh, a lot of people can't afford gesso and they, they think that they can't art journal or whatever and you can, you definitely can. Um, just put like a cut of white paint down, leave it dry, that's your base, no big deal. So when you, if you add glue to this, okay, when you're done using your sprays, take your lid off and this is important, and it's not going to be dire if you don't do it, but it's a pain in the ass if you don't do it. Squirt out the rest. I'm dripping. Okay, so my nozzle is now empty. And you can see that there is fluid, you know, uh, the water and the ink right there. So what I'm going to do is you want to make sure you wipe that off clean, right? And we got all the stuff out of there. So then you put it back in your... And then you set it for a till and use it next time. If you don't, what's going to happen is, um, let's see, if I would leave that dry and not pat it, it would be darker. If you don't clean it, your, and, and, and it's any spray bottle. It's not necessarily just what you make at home. It's usually any spray bottle. Um, I'm sure we all have had spray bottles that we bought, um, you know, with ink spray in it and that kind of thing where you you get it and, um, you know, you use it one day and everything. And let's say you don't use it for another week and you go to use it and you either get a stream spraying out or it doesn't spray anything. And then you got to, all you got to do is soak the nozzle in uh, hot water, warm water, and it'll kind of loosen that up and you kind of wipe it. But sometimes it's just easier if when you're done doing your sprays and stuff, wipe it off. Now, what do you do if you don't have food coloring and you don't want to use food coloring or whatever? Use your acrylic paint. Um, you see this now I'm going to just pour this out so we can do another, I can show you one more thing here. All right. So now we have our empty bottle. I'm going to put some water in it. Pick color that you want to use. I'm just pouring water. And you can use more water than that. I'm just kind of doing this for sake of video. I want a dark color. How about we will use dark blue. Shake it up. It's just regular acrylic paint. You can use watercolor paint too. They're, they even sell liquid uh, watercolor that you can use as well. But I just like to do this. So I'm going to put three drops in there. And let's give it a shake. 
some people I have in some of mine, look how blue it's getting. Um, I will put a marble in a glass marble or a glass bead, or if you have uh, BBs or the metal, you know, whatever, just help shake everything up and get everything off the bottom. All right. So I got this. Now that's our acrylic paint. If you want to have a lot of fun, put mica in it. If you don't have mica, go to the dollar store, buy a silver, uh, metallic eye uh, shadow from the dollar store, or they have blues, they have green. I mean, they have every color. Get that, crush it up, put some in here. You're good to go. And then we're going to spray. Uh, we can still see the purple coming out, but now here comes the blue. And look at the color. Right? Now you want to do the same thing with this. You want to make sure that you clean the nozzle and spray the rest of that out of there. Spray it, put it back in your bottle, turn it, wipe the nozzle one more time. It's clean, you're good to go for the next time. Like I said, if by whatever reason, you forget or it gets clogged, just put it in warm water in your kitchen sink or a bowl or whatever, and uh, it'll help loosen that up. Just takes more time out of your day and having to get up and do it. And believe me, I, I do it a lot. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm a lazy artist, crafter, whatever we are, whatever I am. I am. I can be very lazy. If you saw my water sitting over here with all my paintbrushes and it's really needs changed. So that's a very easy way. Like I said, I know a lot of us have food coloring sitting in the, you know, that we use to make cupcakes for the kids or, you know, to do whatever. I, you know, it's one of those things you find like way in the back when you're cleaning out your spices or whatever. Um, so it's definitely a great way to use it. Like I said, if you don't want to use food coloring and you don't want to use, um, and you can't afford to buy regular sprays, use your acrylic paint. This is store brand, my studio. And I can't remember who makes this. AC Moore. This is AC Moore, um, their brand. You, they have these on sale for 49 cents. Again, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white. Those are the colors that you need to start. Very, very inexpensive. I will be having a giveaway soon coming up where I will have a... Um, I give these away a lot. It's just going to be a case of acrylic, you know, squeeze paint, um, just to get people started. I'll be having a giveaway of that within the next week or so. Um, but you can use those also in your spray bottles. So when I say go to the dollar store, if you have, let's say you have $10, $5, whatever, go buy perfume, the body sprays that come in these kind of squirt bottles, bring them home, empty them, rinse them out real good, rinse the nozzle, and then you have a dollar spray bottle that you can make colors in. So if you buy a couple of these and then you're on your way, pick a couple colors, even do the primaries, the yellow, uh, what is it? Yellow, red, blue, and green, and you can mix them and make different colors. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, if you have the eyeshadow, put a little bit in there, mix it, you know, glittery and all. I don't have any eyeshadow here. I have mica powder, but um, I don't want to, uh, I really don't want to use that. I want you guys to use stuff at home. Um, there was, what else? there was other questions, but yeah, that's the archival thing. I get that question a lot on art journaling and, um, paintings and stuff I do. And, you know, like I said, so far, uh, 20 years later, I have stuff that I've done and it's not, nothing's happened to it. And it's just, and it's, you know, school glue and acrylic paint and, you know, the point is just to have fun. It's not to worry about that kind of thing. Like I said, if you are selling something for $70, $80, you want to have better stuff, better paint, better uh, gel medium kind of thing uh, because you're selling it and that is your, you know, you're making a lot of money. If you're selling something for five, 10 bucks, um, you know, my school of thought is, uh, you know, it's going to last 20, 25 years as it is. It's, you know, my dog's choking. Sorry. These dogs are really getting to me today. Um, 
you, you know what I mean? It's going to last. I've not had any issues. I've not had any problems. Oh my God, this dog. Ugh. They're in and out of my room today there. They went in and then when they're in, they went out and then they go out. So that's kind of where we are with making your own sprays. And you can make them, remember, this is a dilution. Look how bright that is. So you can make, whether you're using paint or the uh, food coloring, you can make it that dark. I just wanted to do a subtle because if I use it for background, I want it to be subtle. But you definitely can um, make it as dark as you want it. And then, you know, just kind of move it around. And I love using paper towels. I, I usually will draw these out. And then you have like these great colors to glue down, you know, in your art journal now. But you can't beat it. And it's really fun to do. And there's, like I said, as long as you clean out Nazwa, you are good to go. Um, so that was the, I get the archival question quite a bit. What else was there? Dang, I can't remember. My head is always foggy lately. It's always foggy lately. Yeah, you know what I mean. I live in a fog. What's the other thing? Other thing? Other thing? Oh, okay. Um. All right, I got people ask. I, I am gonna make. I got a, a day tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be. Able, I'm not gonna be home all day, but. Um, I am going to make these in foam and do a giveaway on these. People are asking what kind of giveaways I have coming up. I have a polymer clay giveaway coming up. I have another, I have a polymer clay video I'm going to do and then do a giveaway after that. And I have a paper clay giveaway, polymer clay giveaway, the cutouts in foam so you can make stamps with it. What's the other thing? I have... Oh man, what the heck else was there? I have a couple things, couple things in the works um, that I just have to get together and get out. I have not been home for the longest time. It feels like so. That's about that. I don't think I have anything else. I think that's all I was going to show in this video was making your own sprays. And like I said, you can use your acrylic paint. You can use food coloring. You can use watercolor. You can use whatever you want. Um, I add a couple things, a couple drops of white school glue just to help it bind a little bit. That's up to you. You don't have to. The archival question. That's about it. I think that's all for the sprays that I wanted to show. I really do. Now to show you really quickly, let me see if I can look. I just want to show you because I know people were asking about being able to write and you can write right over it. It's not going to affect anything. Obviously my paper is still a little bit wet. You want to make sure your paper's dry. So you can write over it, even the acrylic spray, which is the blue, and you can write all over it. Make sure your paper's dry though first, and it's no big deal. You can still write on it even if it's this spray. So that's good. I know a lot of people uh, we're concerned with that, if making your own spray, if you can write on it. You can write on any sprays, really, but like I said, those work well. This is my uh, one of my favorite pens, the Energel Liquid Ink by Pentel. And as you can see, you can write with that as well. You know, you can write with pencil. Make sure your paper's dry, because obviously pencil's going to dig into your paper. Right now, let's say, hey, I, I'm really, you know, I played with my, I tried my sprays. I, you know, did this and that. I got this on here. I don't want to waste my paper. I want to make a uh, thing. I'm going to spray some of this, put that down. I'm going to take my big brush. I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to go in. And I'm painting. It could be white, off white. It could be green. It could be whatever color you have. Maybe a paint that you don't particularly care for, or maybe that's old and not, you know. I always wet my brush and I don't tap it out because it just helps this spread. But now what we're doing is we're making a background 
for us to do a painting on. So you played, you see, you know, you played with your sprays that you made and you're seeing what they do. And we're just going to go like this. Get the paper all covered. Pull the extra paint off if you want. If you don't, then don't. It's your call. And this way you don't waste paper. Because we all have paper that we sit and spray on. To... Some people have their um, drop sheets. I know, you know, they have drop sheet paper underneath. So when they do this kind of thing, you know, they have it, it builds and builds and builds. This is what I happen to do. Let this dry and then you can work on top of it, you know, and start another mixed media piece. Use a free art journal. I've got an art journal um, coming up. Probably make a video for it Tuesday or Wednesday, if God's willing, if everything goes okay. Tomorrow. Rinse out my brushes because I have the worst brush, brusher outer. Okay. Something else. Go to the dollar store. Buy makeup uh, sponges. You can buy them in the triangles, which are fantastic. You can buy them in blocks, in circles. If you buy them in the round pads, you could use them as also as... Um, stuff to make, you know, different textures and that kind of thing. It's, it's endless what you could do. Q-tips, they have Q-tips that have points at my dollar store. I'm going to put those in the giveaway. Um, cause those are great to make dots and to, and to do fun things. I'm going to do, like I said, a little mixed media, uh, package to go like a beginner's kind of thing. Um, very simple, but easy way to sit and start your own mixed media when you're starting out, you know, we all need it. Um, I will say that AC Moore and Michaels usually, um, I'm not sure about Joann's because I don't really do a lot of shopping at Joann's um, for my paint and that kind of thing. I usually go to AC Moore and Michaels because they're closer. But uh, you can go and they usually have paper, whether it be mixed media, watercolor, this is Bristol, whatever, on sale 40% off. If um, they don't, you can print up their coupons from online. And just go in and buy. They have them for five eighty eight at mine in this like center big container where you can go buy whether they have the mixed media and watercolor and this and that. And um, you can go buy your own like this. And you can even make your own journal by folding this in half. And you know you have a a, a great handmade journal um, for you to do art journaling in. So it, it can be very very inexpensive. Look, I feel like this. If all you have is printer paper, then use your printer paper. It doesn't matter. The point is, is having fun. So that's that. Like I said, I threw that coat on there. That's kind of going to be my gesso now. That kind of seals the paper for me um, a little bit. And I can move on from here and start layering and spraying and doing whatever I want to do. And uh, I didn't waste any paper. A lot of fun. I think that's all I have. I think that's all I have. Yeah, I think that's it. But that's that's the first thing I'm going to show. Like I said, everybody was asking about the sprays. And that's how I do it. You can use your watercolor. You can use... Um, you can even take your Crayola markers. And, you know, you can wet them on. Like this is my craft mat. You can use whatever you have. And put a little water. You know, scribble on here. Put a little water. It gets watercolory. You can use that. Uh, you know, on your backgrounds as well. If you only have Crayola markers, because the kids um, school stuff is on sale everywhere now. So you can get great prices. I think that's it. I think if not, write me down below or write me. Y'all know where to get me at. Um, and they ask more questions if I forgot. I know I had a bunch of questions. I, I hope I answered it all. I think I did. I don't know. But that's that's a beginning anyway <laughs> of the sprays. So that's it. I hope that helped. As always, just ask questions. It's very simple, very easy, very fun. And it gets you a set of, you know, sprays that you can use in your art journaling or whatever you do without breaking the bank when you're just starting out or if you don't have money or you run out of a color and you can't afford it you know you just improvise a little bit and, and make it yourself and then you can still have fun
because this is what it's all about. It's having fun. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being the best one. It's about having fun and getting your creativity out. And yeah, that's about it. So, and save things like this. This is another thing. I've shown this a million times. I use this. I have a bunch of them around here. This is from the needle I take and, uh, but it makes great texture and you can, you know, put it in paint like that and do it like that. And then you have this side too. So this is from a needle that I take and, um, like look at things differently when you look at them because you never know lids, toothpaste lids. I mean, there's so many different things that you can keep and use as mark making stuff that, you know, uh, will help you out financially that you don't have to break the bank. You have stuff sitting around your house like crazy, I'm sure. So just keep that in mind when you're, you know, when you, when you sit and think like, oh, I can't do that because I don't have it. There's a way to do it. And like I said, if you don't know how to do it, write me, I'll help you out. Um, I have a bunch of videos, like I said, you know, from a year or two ago, uh, making all kinds of different things. We make molding paste, uh, just so all kinds of different things, um, on my website, there's all kinds of different things. And, uh, you know, you don't have to feel helpless, just do it. Especially us who are newbies or disabled, um, and on a strict budget, you don't have to feel helpless that you cannot do this. You can do it. You can make you know, stuff with baby powder and white school glue and white paint or, you know, water or whatever and make your own product. And the point is, is that you're having fun and you're doing it. Um, I have a lot of great new videos and all I got planned coming up this fall. Um, of doing a few different things that I do. I love doing my, I didn't get a chance to do it this month. My uh, beauty box. Uh, I got that in the mail and that was a great one this year. I mean this month, but I just haven't had a chance to make videos on it. Um, we've been just so busy and by the time we get home, I'm exhausted. So, um, I'm hoping to get back on that. I have a new place that does perfume, um, every month and, um, I'm going to be doing a video on that and, uh, clay stuff and making dolls and jewelry and just so, so, so much I want and have to do. I'm hoping to be able to get back in my art room every day because I have not been in my art room hardly ever. I know the violin's playing for me, right? I know we all got shit. If life were only easy, huh? How much better it would be. But like I said, when you have time, you do it. You know, that's why I said, you know, if it takes you a half hour or if it takes you three hours, it doesn't matter. As long as you have fun at the end of it, who cares? Take a, take a tablet or take your printer paper and make yourself a little journal. And when you sit on the couch at night, draw a face, draw a bird, draw a flower. It doesn't matter. Get your creativity going, you know? Now in my group, All Things Creative, uh, we have, uh, sorry, my thing went off. Uh, we have, um, we're starting up our art journaling again, and I'm going to try to get back in the habit of doing, you know, I don't know if it's going to be something new every day, like we were doing for a while, but we're going to have some, you know, like Halloween's coming up and, you know, I love doing my creepy, creepy, crawly, uh, pictures and drawings and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing some of that and, uh, our art journal page for this week. I'm doing it like basically Saturday, Sunday to Saturday and Sunday. So for those who work, um, who want to be involved, they can, um, you know, if they only are able to do it for a little bit on Saturday, they can make an art journal page or at night, you know, so it's not like a daily thing. You could have a week to sit and play. You might do it three, three nights in a row. Who cares? You know, um, just to get our creativity going and all going into the holidays and the cooler weather and, you know, waiting for the leaves to change wait for it to be 95 degrees again, like it was last week. But, uh, I don't know. I, I feel be it. I, I saw in the news about all the people who were getting all the rain and stuff like that. We haven't had hardly any rain yesterday. It rained. Um, but we had a very dry summer. So, but that's it. That's it. I'm so blessed. I am so thankful. Um, you guys rock and I don't even know. So as always, Please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And any questions, as always, leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. If you like these uh, hacked uh, how to make art product stuff at home, 
Um, so I noted to do more of them. Um, keep an eye out. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm having, I'll be having giveaways coming up and you have to be subscribed to get the giveaways. I'm doing a lot smaller giveaways so I can do more giveaways so I can uh, show you all how much I appreciate, um, your beautiful letters and support and my subs and just all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited. And if you have an idea for a giveaway that you'd like to see, leave that down below too. Um, everybody likes different things. So, you know, maybe you have a different idea of something that I didn't, I don't I haven't thought about. So that's about that. I think I've talked enough. I love you all. And I appreciate all your emails and your messages. And as always, please just leave me questions, email me questions. I'll put my Facebook link down below. Also, I'm going to put my Instagram down below. Um, if you're on Instagram, come follow me. I'll follow you back. I love Instagram and I love looking at everybody's art and, and all their stuff. So I will put that down below in the description box as well. And which will be below this video. And that's it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.